so many good things happen for me or to me for me to me I guess it is the same yes some bad things happen to me but I think much of the time Some bad things open up for good things to happen for me. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Let's say <laughs> this case. So let's say this case is bad. And if you open up the case, something good comes out. <laughs> so, from the outside, much of the time, I believe it may seem like what I am going through is bad. But, if I endure, if I stay patient, if I continue to do what is right, much of the bad things that happen to me opens up and good things come out of it. I think much of the time. And you may say, why is this? Why is that? I can say God's grace, right? But also, I help people. And in more than one way. I could be selfish. I could be uncaring. I could be just about myself. But how is that going to benefit me? Spiritually. We are not made to only help ourselves. You may be in need. You know what I don't like? I don't like it when a person mainly thinks about self. Like, as if the world should cater to you. Like, you are some type of prince or princess or whatever. Like, if you spend most of your day thinking about yourself and what you don't have and don't use some of your time, at least, I guess, to serve other people. You know, like, oh, my life is so miserable. My dad was not there for me. My boss is so rude to me. Why is my life so bad? And let's say someone comes to you and ask you to ask you for help, I guess, to move to another house. And let's say you are like, no, you know, I am not interested. But you are at home pouting and I guess, in depression, thinking about yourself, and you know, like this selfish type of mentality. I don't like that. Look now, we are going to reap what we sow. If you want a better outcome, first, 
Repent of your sins. So change your mind about sinning. Like, try, like, have a mind to not want to do it, even though you may do it. Confess your sins to God. God, I am sorry. Please forgive me of my sins. God, please forgive me of stealing and cussing people out and stuff like that. So begin being obedient to God. After that, help people. I think much of the time, I think some of the time when I am asked, how can I say this? I think some of the time when I do some things for people, I think much of it, I am confusing myself. I think some of the time when I do things for others, I don't want to do it. But the way I see it, much of the time, if I am doing it for people, yes, it may be for their benefit, but ultimately I am doing it for God. So let's say I have an enemy and let's say that person told people that I am hateful and I am rude. Let's say that person lied on me so many times. So if that person came to me for help and if I chose to help that person, the way I see it, Yes, I am helping that person, but ultimately I am helping God. And I don't remember that scripture. I think it is something like when you have helped. I think there is a scripture saying something. Lord, when have I fed you, gave you clothes and stuff like that and if you have done it to the least, you have done it unto me. I don't really remember the scripture. So the way I see it, when I do things for people, I see it as I am doing it unto God. Now, am I saying that I do everything that I am asked? No. But... Let me say this too. We are going to reap what we sow. So even if that person was mean to you, even if your father or mother was not there for you, if they truly need help, and if you can help them, try to. Because I think you will have much to benefit from it. I think there are things, at least probably much of us, I think there are things that much of us pray for. What if God is testing you and placing someone on your path, path to see how you are going to act toward that person. So you are asking God for something, right? Pretty much looking for his mercy. So if God was to send a person on your path, would you show that person mercy? I am telling you, you might think that God doesn't do stuff like that, but I truly believe he does. And think about this. How can you cry out to God, asking him mercy, asking for stuff, but you aren't willing to help others? Like how, 
weird is that? Yes, you may not be able to pass out money to everyone, but you have your fingers and your hands and your elbows, right? You can do something, right? The trick is, which it is not really a trick, but the thing is, I guess I can say, be merciful to people. You don't know when you are going to need mercy, right? Myself, even though good things are happening for me, I know I will need mercy. I need mercy now. So if I am crying out to God or asking God for mercy, how much more should I be willing to show mercy to others? Right? Maybe that is one of the reasons why your life is so bad. Maybe one of the reasons are you are selfish. You are hateful. You are bitter. You, you may be vindictive. Okay, let me stop here. God bless you.